the 12 boys and their soccer coach who were recently rescued from a cave in northern Thailand, have appeared in video messages from their hospital beds, in which they each thanked officials and well-wishers for the help and support. Clad in patient gowns and surgical masks, the boys sat up in their beds at a hospital in Chiang Rai province as they individually gave brief statements, filmed Friday and released by officials at a press conference Saturday. Adele Samon, 14, delivered his in English. Quote, Hello, I'm Adele, he said to the camera. Now, I'm very fine. I am very thank you for help me. Thank you so much. Quote, dot, the other boys, who spoke in Thai, echoed Adul's sentiments of gratitude and joy, and mentioned which foods they look forward to eating. I am healthy, said Panumas Sengdi, 13. Thank you for worrying about us and coming to help us. Don't worry anymore. I am safe now. Dot, quote, dot, quote, I want to eat crispy pork belly stir fry, said Pornjai Kamluang, 16. Thank you, everybody who support us and who sent us inspiration. We want to thank you. Dot, I'm healthy, said Sompong J. Wang, 13. I want to eat stir fried pork with basil and fried egg. I want to thank you everybody who give us support, and everybody from all over the world who come to help us. Thank you. Dot, quote, dot, the boy's 25-year-old coach, Ekapal Chanthong, gave his thanks to doctors, the Royal Thai Navy and the Prime Minister. Now, I am healthy like normal, can eat normal, Ekapal said in Thai. Thank you everyone who support us, and every ministry that help me. Dot officials at Chiang Rai Prachanakro Hospital told reporters at Saturday's press conference that all 13 are tentatively scheduled to be discharged Thursday. Thailand's public health minister, Piyasakal Sakol Satedan, said the group is physically active and healthy. Some of the boys lost as much as 11 pounds during their ordeal. Now, a majority of them have each gained 4 pounds since being rescued. Everyone is healthy, no fever and strong, Piyasakal said in Thai at the press conference Saturday. They all have a good appetite and want to eat so many kinds of food. Piyasakal said family members no longer need to wear surgical masks when visiting the patients and can now stay at their bedsides rather than being kept at a distance of protection against infection, which doctors instituted in the first days after the group was hospitalized. Blood tests results showed no signs of infectious diseases that they might have contracted during their week stranded deep within a partly flooded cave near the village of Pong Fa. The group must complete a seven-day course of antibiotics prescribed by doctors, according to a statement released Thursday by Jud Sardachok Demrongsik, permanent secretary at the Public Health Ministry. The examining psychiatrist has reported that all 12 boys are in good mental health condition, but there's concern about how the boys will fare when they return home for the first time in weeks, according to Piyasakal. The boys and their families have been instructed to avoid all media exposure for at least one month after they are discharged, out of fear it could trigger post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. The relatives need to take care of themselves and the boys. Everyone has to understand, the health minister told reporters, even though the boys will be released from the hospital in a few days, they are still not strong enough and need to rest at home. Dot the concerns also extend to the boys' coach, who led the Wild Boy Youth soccer team into the cave last month and has received criticism from outsiders. 
the boys and their parents, however, have generally praised the coach for keeping their spirits high and deferring food to them.